Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar, and welcome to Rajshri Food. Well, we as humans have kept evolving, and our taste, our flavors, kind of adapt seasonally. Well, today's recipe uses spring onions. Let's begin with hare pyaaz ki sabzi or spring onion sabzi. The first thing is to cut spring onions into two different parts. The first one, of course, is the white part or the bulbous part or the onion part of it, and the second is the leafy part or the green part or the spring part of it. Now, technically, just dividing this into two parts or two portions, and then similarly, we start cutting all of it, club it into bundles, and then chop it nice and fine. It's important to wash this absolutely well in running water because you have mud seeping in into all these leaves or these pockets or these contours. It's very important to wash this nice and clean. Also, there are times when the tips are kind of a little brown or yellow in color. Just snip them off and keep cutting absolutely normally. Well, this is that time of the year where you also get onion scapes, nice and ample in the market. and onion scapes also makes a wonderful sabzi exactly on similar lines let's keep the greens aside for now and concentrate on the whites now if you see the white carefully you have a part where the root is still kind of attached let's snip that off and cut this into quarters like so now do not cut it through and through it still has to be attached to the white part this way it just becomes easier to cut that's how you get a chopped green onion or a fresh white onion similarly let's cut this lengthwise like so and just cut this into roundels and because of the center cut it just kind of splits up and gives you a little tinier cut that's exactly how we want this let's cut all of it similarly when well, i'm showing you one just for the sake of communication but otherwise all you can do is take a bunch together like so snip off the root part and then cut this with a kitchen knife while cutting these onions you need to be very careful especially of your fingers or your fingertips because the white onions have a slightly flimsy film on top of it which eventually dries or gets dehydrated or gets sun dried and becomes the cover of the pink onion or the red onion so be very careful because it's very slimy let's transfer all of this in a bowl keep this aside and let's start cutting the spring greens for the greens of course we need to take lesser bunches because they are manageable that way and we'll cut these well similarly With this our spring greens are cut and ready. Let's keep these also aside and let's move on to making the vegetable. Let's begin with heating oil in a kadai. Less or more is completely personal. Well, generally as a thumb rule any recipe that uses besan or gram flour uses slightly more oil than usual. Well, this recipe also has gram flour untoasted. we actually going to toast it while cooking or while making the recipe the oil is heated up let's begin with black mustard once these begin to splutter we'll add in cumin seeds and immediately crushed ginger garlic and green chilies well green chilies as per the spice that you or your family prefer i like this sabzi personally a mix of sweet spicy and sour sweet of course with sugar or jaggery sour with uh, lemons and for the chili or for the heat i use green chilies and just a touch of red chili powder once the raw flavor of the ginger garlic and chili is kind of goes away i'm going to add in gram flour the moment you add in the gram flour you'll see that it immediately starts clumping till the heat kind of seeps within that clump and starts warming it from within this is where you see it'll start frothing and start cooking or start roasting keep stirring this is possibly one of the most critical parts of this recipe we keep stirring this and all through the making of this recipe the heat has been on medium low but do remember this once the base and the gram flour becomes nice and nutty do ensure that the color does not change otherwise the vegetable just gets a very untoward brown color 
Let's add in some spices. Coriander seed powder. Turmeric. Let's mix this well. Well, dhania powder or coriander seed powder in a lot of Indian recipes is also used as a thickening agent. This is something that a lot of people are not aware of. Let's add in red chilli powder and stir this well. Time to add in the chopped onion whites and saute this for three minutes on medium flame. This part of the spring onion needs to be cooked thoroughly unless you're the ones like me who likes that little bite in a sabzi while eating. After stirring all this well, ensuring that of course the onions are also well cooked, I'm going to add in some hot water. Well, this of course is for the consistency and also while cooking you'll realize that the gram flour starts getting cooked and then also eventually starts thickening this entire sabzi wonderfully. And of course you also have coriander seeds like I said to just add in to that beautiful luscious consistency. Let's stir this well. We lower the flame and add in the spring greens. Remember the fact that I've not added salt earlier for a simple reason because all of this is going to actually reduce in its quantity. You know, as a matter of fact, as a thumb rule, you can follow this as a principle for every recipe that uses any form of green vegetable. Let's mix this well. To this, let's add in salt, like I said, with extreme caution. With the addition of salt, like I said earlier, this recipe ends for a lot of you. But if you heard me right earlier, I said I like this recipe, not just spicy, but also a touch of sweet and a touch of souring. And for that, I'm going to add in lemon juice and salt at this stage. But if you're the ones who does not like it sour and sweet, that's the end of the recipe for you. Just ensure that the onions or the greens are well cooked. Let's squeeze in lemon at this stage, ensuring that you collect all the seeds. And finally, last but not the least, sugar. Now this may seem to be a lot of sugar, but trust me, this amount of sugar is going to make it wonderfully creamy and just borderline sweet. Mix all of this well. Just cook this for another two to three minutes on medium to high flame. And with this, your spring onion sabzi or hare pyaas ki sabzi is done and ready. Do not overcook this, do not cover this and cook because with that, the green color of the spring onion will kind of fade away and make it look tinges of brown. You do not want that to happen. Let's serve this and this goes amazingly well with fulkas, garma garam with lots of ghee and lots of love. On that note, stay tuned for more such quick, simple and easy recipes only on Rajshri Bye for now.